not working because we know the mission now is and has been for many years to win the Champions League title. Stevie, can they do that with Neymar? Well, they can do it with the Neymar they bought. <laughs> you know, the fact that he's turned up early for training is a great sign. You wouldn't put money on that, right. that's for sure. He could have had another three nights out. He chose not to. That's a good start. But, yeah, absolutely, if, if, if Neymar gets back to the guy that he signed, then, yes, they can. There's no, they've got the talent. They've got as much talent as anybody else. They just can't quite get it together uh, when it matters most. So, yes, they could win it. I'm not putting money on it, but they could win it. And, and people out there may think when we're talking about this rules like what does it really matter if you show up late to a training session or to a players meeting or whatever other rule that you broke as a player well what it does is that it starts creating cracks in the foundation division within the team you start then when things are going smoothly then everybody's okay everybody's happy but when things start going south those cracks that I just mentioned in the foundation, they start showing up. And in the case of PSG, no better example than what we saw in Champions League last season, where those cracks were already there. We knew they were there. And then in a, mo in a, mo in a moment in which they needed everybody to come together, they fell completely apart. So for me, if this team is going to make a deep run and indeed threaten to win Champions League, the foundation has to be solid. No cracks, no fractures, no divisions. Be the concept of a team first and then allow the talented players in the attack to take over. But unless you have a good foundation, solid foundation, which every other really good team in Europe has, then this thing will go nowhere. If you have it, you have a chance. If you don't, they will fail again. Now, uh, Julien, with that foundation comes, of course, the happiness of the players. How happy is Neymar with relationships with, say, Kylian Mbappé? They, they, they're close. They've always been friends. I don't think that Kylian's sort of new contract, a new position at the heart of this project and being the superstar and the fact that this, this is his team very much now, I don't think that really had impacted Neymar. Or certainly, that's not what I've been told. But, but maybe, as we explained before and on the show in previous shows as well, there's a feeling that this could be a good time for him if there's another project offered to Neymar to go and to leave and to let Kylian Mbappé and Messi for one more season you know, take, take charge of, of this team and see how far they can go. I, I think Gachi is going to struggle to play them three together. I have to be honest here. I don't think, I'm going to repeat myself, but I don't think Neymar and Messi can play wide anymore and, and have have a real impact on a team, neither with the ball or without the ball. And especially without the ball, we saw last season how unbalanced the team was to try to recover the ball because those three don't defend. So I think Galtier will have to make big decisions where you play Messi, where you play Neymar. Can you actually play them three together but not Neymar and Messi wide? Because that's, that's not going to work, especially in the big, big games in the Champions League. We're not talking about Ligue 1. Ligue 1, Ali Moreno and Steven Nicol can still play for that PSG team and they will win the league. But we mean the big games, the game that matters the most. He will have to find a way of getting the best out of Neymar and Messi. And I'm really not convinced them two can play together anymore because, again, for me, the only solution is one playing centrally behind Kylian Mbappe, for example, in a front two or, or a ten just behind Kylian. Uh, because wide, there's no point. And then both of them centrally, again, there's no point. They're going to walk on each other. So it'd be very interesting to see what they do. But, but for Neymar... This is a huge summer for him. He might end up staying, and maybe, and we will see then what kind of mindset he has with the World Cup coming up. But he knows this is, he's not the main guy anymore. The main guy will be now Kylian, not him, not Messi. So he will have to, to deal with it as best as he can if he stays. And if he leaves, I think people at the club will wish him good luck. I'm pretty sure that was not a compliment for us, Stevie. <laughs> I don't think. Sit up, boys. No, it was. It was. <laughs> I don't... Listen, I need help to get on this share. <laughs> Never mind playing in the Champions League. <laughs> no, he said Ligue 1. Ligue 1, we got it. Champions League, we're not quite cut out for that. <laughs>
Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.